Sup, people? Okay. Welcome to another vlog, to another edition, to another content, to another video. And today we are driving the Volkswagen T-Cross S variant gray. And <laughs> it's a compact SUV. Hindi ko alam ang tawag nila dito sa, you know, in a technical sense. But by the name itself, it says T-Cross, means crossover. It's a, uh, a little bit bigger than a regular car with the looks and the functionality of uh, an SUV. But it looks like it's smaller than SSUV. Uh, SSUV is a category, by the way. It's, it means a small SUV. And this is smaller than small SUV. So this is triple S UV. <laughs> so we review na din siya. Mamaya natin titignan yung looks niya. Review muna natin yung ride niya. Uh, by the way guys, I've been driving this car for a week now. And uh, so far, so good. Comfortability. Gusto ko yung comfortability niya. Yung upuan niya ay, you know, it's almost a bucket seat, but it's not. Malapit ng papunta ron. But it's not, no? Almost. Pero comfortable siya. Yung looks ng kanyang dash, itong kanyang control area, uh, very straightforward. There are what? One, two, three, four, almost four types of gray. By the way, the LS variant ito, no? yung ibang higher variant nito, kung anong kulay nung labas, yung kulay nung cockpit area. So it's a 1.5 naturally aspirated engine I've got here, which means in my world, comfort ang kanyang number one uh, selling point, but it is not a race car. Sabihin, kapag uh, gusto mo pang karera ito, rektahan, arangkadahan mo sa stoplight, this is not your car. Pero comfortable. I think ito mga gandong coaches designed for you to, you know, alis sa bahay, punta sa work. Di ba? Yung swabbing araw lang, no? Kung mag-out of town ka, hindi ka nagmamadali. Yung mga gandong klase ng lakad. Pero yung bakbakan, yung weekly ang uuwi ng probinsya, magdadala ka ng sakyan, sa so madalian yung, yung laban ng biyahe. This is not your car. Yung uh, steering wheel, I like it. Medyo textured na kaunti. No? Mas pino lang yung texture ng, uh, ng steering wheel kumpara sa buong dashboard. But, it feels good. By the way guys, para ma-review natin yung kabuuan ng kotse, yung looks niya, yung labas niya, yung ilaw niya, and what not. Pupunta mo tayo sa isang mga pinaka-importante yung pupuntahan mo. Pag mag-review ka ng kotse sa kanyang exterior, alam niyo saan yun? Car wash. tapos na tayong mag magpa car wash guys ang ating next destination pupunta tayo ng skyway at tayo ay mag re-review overall it's a good car hindi ganun ka hindi ganun ka aggressive yung acceleration nya but this car comes along with sports mode so there are three modes in this car the drive which is the normal it shifts uh, from gear to gear at 3000 rpm and then you've got the sports mode which actually shifts the gear or from gear to gear at 4000 rpm and then you have the manual so there are three modes daughter say hi to my camera right there you know i'm going impression review of how you drive this car on the, you know, open expressway. And uh, we are going to eat our dinner or merienda somewhere in Laguna. And I'll tell you 
something about this car. By the way, guys, a little a little backtrack of a story. Um, ginamit ko itong kotse to uh, a couple of nights ago going to Batangas. Nagpunta kami dito kay Lagandang Kara at nilagyan namin ito ng mga sorry Volkswagen Philippines. I didn't mean to do this but kinargahan ko ito ng tiles. <laughs> and uh, okay naman. Smooth naman pa rin takbo. And uh, the, the suspension is actually on the comfort, uh, comfortable side. Uh, nilagyan namin ito ng uh, 5 I think or 4. Uh, boxes of 30 by 30 tiles na pang kusina tapos punong puno yung likod and uh, so far hindi mo ramdam sa makina so it, it, it doesn't mean that the car is under power it has power it's designed to have a gentle um, and comfortable ride no? wala siyang sudden acceleration yung wala siya yung uh, magugulat ka na lang na napakan mo bilang yung pandyong kotse no? it's designed na pag inapakan mo it gradually um, builds up momentum na hindi ka nabibigla. So, I think it's by design that the car runs like this. Uh, cockpit area, kung titignan mo guys, uh, medyo kita mo ang lahat. Gaya naman ako nang yung Volkswagen. I like the, the pillar kasi konti lang yung blind spot. Hindi ka anong uh, kalaki. But, then again, masyado atang mataas yung positioning ng side mirror. No? Akin lang naman yan. Okay? Kasi, manipis nga yung pillar, yung side mirror naman, nakabalagbag naman sa view. <laughs> Sana binaba ng konti. Ako lang naman yun. Well, eh, baka kasi hindi pasok sa... I don't know if you guys know that, that some designers would design a car or cars in, in, in collaboration or in consideration of the golden ratio. If you look at your Facebook, guys, yung, yung profile ng Facebook mo, pasok yan sa golden ratio. Alright? So, baka hindi pasok sa golden ratio pag binaba yung side mirror. Yung kotse, masarap itakbo, guys. But may mga, may mga ilang-ilang features ng kotse na to na I would rather have it the other way than how it's designed sa kotse ito. Say, for example, when I was driving to, ano, to Batangas, Papunta kami ng lagandang kara. Sobrang naiinis ako kung saan nakapuesto yung high beam indicator nito. Guys, kasi when you're running, when you're running uh, around, you know, uh, uh, 2,000 or 2,500 RPM, dun sa mismong arm ng RPM, nandun sa likod niya yung high beam indicator. Ito yung video. Ayan, pinakunan ko sa kuya ko. You would almost miss uh, the icon kasi parang, ha? Huh? Sa, sa, sa laki-laki ng, ng pwedeng paglagyan, bakit mo tinago sa likod ng uh, pointer? I'm just saying, passionate lang ako. Diba? Like, really? Are you for real? I'm just saying. Okay, by the way, let's ask, komportable ba sa likod? Komportable lang, no? Maganda. Maganda. Ah, so sabi ni Maru, may opinion po siya. Yung upuan, you're not going anywhere. It's almost like a bucket seat, but it's not. No? At sinagi tayo. Hey! Sinagi mo kami! Ingat ka sa pagdadrive. Nagastos ba tayo? Hindi naman. Patok ko lang. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Not because this is, this is not my car. Pero ganyan po kahit sa, kahit sa kotse ko. Pag nasagi ako nang hindi naman ganong, wala naman damage, I just let it go. After all, they all make mistakes. Yeah, na? Pero feeling ko, ang pinakamalaking mistake dito ay yung kung saan nakapuesto yung high beam indicator. Ang gigigil talaga ako dyan. But overall, gusto ko to, ano, itong kanyang headroom. I, I don't know if you remember yung unang-unang review ko na Volkswagen na sedan. No? Uh, medyo claustrophobic ang dating ko doon dahil konti na lang mauuntog ka na. But this one, the headroom is actually okay. Maganda headroom niya. Maganda na. By the way, guys, the variant uh, above this, yung asunod na mas mataas dito, mas mahal, meron siyang moonroof. Tapos dito, ano, I don't know if you can see it. No? There are four buttons right here. Uh, the bottom right one is for you to turn on both of the lights. The left one, dito, is the door. So pag bukas yung pinto, it will turn on. And itong dalawang nandito, is for individual lights. So you must actually memorize the configuration. Otherwise, you end up pressing all the buttons para mapatay mo yung ilaw. 
All right, all right. So we're going the Skyway. Where the hell did you come from? Have a bye, guys. The moment of truth. How do you feel driving this car on an open expressway? Would it feel like a sedan or would it feel like a an SUV or a sedan and an SUV combined or crossover? T-cross. Alam mo ba na kung anong kahulugan ng cross or X sa mga sakyan? Sabi mo, parang hybrid. Yeah, hybrid. Every time you see an X or a cross, the word cross or X means crossover, especially X. Say, for example, the motor, XADV, it's a crossover. Yung dati kong kotse, ASX. Huh? So, X means crossover. So, this is actually a crossover of an SUV and a car. So, a crossover of a small SUV and a car is that. Kasi, it feels like almost a car. Ah, parang, yung, parang yung taas niya, parang kotse lang, di ba? But ang forma niya ay parang SUV. But it's actually a lot smaller than SUV. So right now, we're driving with um, drive mode. So there are, again, there are three modes here. The drive, the sport, and the manual. So kapag ka nandung sa drive mode, like we are right now, Yeah, I don't know if you can see it from my camera. At 3,000 RPM, it shifts gear. So, nasa drive mode pa rin tayo and very gentle to a point that it's frustrating to almost wait for the engine to shift. No? Na parang pag uh, inapakan mo siya, parang you're waiting for the engine to shift to a higher gear. Kasi gusto mo na siya ihataw. I mean, kung galing ka ng manual na kotse, maiintindihan mo kung sinasabi ko. So far, yung legroom niya sa likod, okay naman. Na maganda legroom, na? Maganda. Uh, malaki, na? I think that's uh, where Volkswagen is actually um, excels on. Na yung legroom. Well, the headroom, not so sure because some of their models na si Dain, mababa yung headroom. Pero legroom, lagi silang pasok. Gusto ko yung tura nung cockpit niya, guys, yung white yung white over dark na ilaw na and then yung kanyang pointers sa speed meter tsaka sa odometer niya ay red, simple lang no, not too fancy not too simple but it's just straightforward so mamaya pag medyo lumuwag yung traffic dito no? because right now we're, we're doing a little over 60 kilometers per hour at 80 naman ang ano dito ang uh, speed limit na no? We're going to try the sports mode. Because right now, we're shifting at around 3,000 RPM. Mamaya, we'll shift tayo at 4,000 RPM. By the way, I don't know kung alam to na marami. No? Hindi ko alam kung tama ako. No? But when I was starting to drive cars, at may tropa ako na nagkakotse, sabi nila merong overdrive mode ang lahat ng pedal ng accelerator ng, ng uh, Volkswagen. And true enough, meron to. Pag inipangan mo yung, pag flinor mo yung, ano, yung kotse, Kasagad siya, and then there's still space for you to force it down to put it to overdrive. I don't know if kung yun yun, but this car has it. Or maybe gumagawa lang ako ng kwento. Sa ibang car? Sa ibang car, it's a button within this area. Dito, nasa pedal. Dito, wala. Nasa pedal siya. Pero walang button. Wala. So baka gumagawa lang ako ng kwento, what you guys can do is to book a test drive sa Volkswagen Philippines and uh, confirm or deny my claim. So, uh, in a little while, we're going to shift to sports mode. Para mas shift mo sa sports mode, guys, di ba? Park, reverse, neutral, drive. Dito, ipitikin mo siya kapunta, drive ulit. It will bounce back, but it will shift to sports mode. Pag gusto mo ng manual, kadigin mo sa kanan. So, we're shifting sa sports mode. You can, you can actually hear the engine roar to life a little bit more than it is sa drive modes. Medyo i-overdrive na konti kasi ang shifting niya ay nasa around 4,000 RPM. Right now, we are doing the fifth gear on sports mode. So, comfortable talaga siya. Really comfortable. May napansin lang ako sa kanya, no? If you're going to make a turn, say for example, uh, yung medyo sharp curve at 
you are not less than 40 kilometers per hour, there's a tendency na meron siyang body roll. So, maybe that's the compromise of, for its size. May konti siyang body roll. Fishtail, I don't think so. Yung pang fishtail na yung pag kumanan ka, yung likod mag-skin. Parang fishtail. Yeah. From the word itself, fishtail. Kapag uh, body roll na yung pag kumanan ka, kumaliwa ka ng medyo mabilisan, yung kotse medyo kakalang siya sa direction mo sa akin. Kumabig. So when we get there, we are going to uh, give a, an impression of how the car looks at night time because I think the lines of the car would really look good. Na pagbukas na yung mga ilaw niya, yung mga, yung mga uh, daytime running lights and uh, park lights at night. So for now, drive muna tayo. Let's go! here at uh, Petron along SLEX and uh, it's like what I said kanina, we're going to give you a, an impression of how the Volkswagen T-Cross um, looks like when it's actually parked and uh, let's have all the lights turned on para ma-appreciate natin so uh, yeah. if you look at it, there you go that's the front of the T-Cross magkahiwala yung kanyang uh, High beam and low beam, turning signal yan. So, uh, this is how it looks like from the side. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. It looks like an, a proper SUV, but you know, this is a lot smaller. So, ito yung kanyang headlight. I don't know if you can see it because we are against the light right now. This is the low beam. This is the high beam. There's the park light and this is the turning signal. I don't know if this is the DRT, daytime running light. I don't know. Cut this one, parang wala naman siyang function dito sa unit na ito. It's this one. No? So, low beam, high beam, turning signal. Dito wala siyang, siguro supposed to be sa ibang variant. This is the daytime running light. I'm assuming right here should be the fog lamps, but this unit doesn't have it. Uh, gusto ko yung kanyang straightforward design. No? no fancy lines and whatnot. Although ito, meron kaunti. Pero hindi ganun ka lala. So, ito yung kanyang accent turning light, no? Na nakasakay sa kanyang uh, side mirror. Uh, let's turn that on. Uh, there you go. There you go. Ayan. Para kita. It's actually a little bit redundant, but it's actually for safety. One is flashing right here at meron din dito. So, meron siyang uh, functional roof rail. No? Uh, tapos yung kanyang antena ay thin type na siya nauuso na ito ngayon naka thin type na antena niya so the antena comes in black alright so katerno mo siya ng kanyang uh, spoiler so there's the center brake light and of course makikita mo dito naka ano na siya matte na yung kanyang uh, uh, park light no? LED and I like the lines no? medyo weird yung linya niya but it's actually very recognizable sa, sa module na ito. Of course, there's the emblem, yung kanyang VW design, and yung kanyang rear fog. There you go. So, kadalasan sa mga model car ngayon, guys, yung rear fog nila ay solo lang. So, ito yung kanyang ano. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, pero ma medyo malubag-lubag naman. There you go. So basically, if you're looking for a car na uh, you're going to haul a lot of things, this is not the car for you. But if it's a daily rider, daily driver mo lang siya, this is a good car. Pasok tayo sa loob, guys. Ayan, sa loob tayo. <clears throat> Just like all the other Volkswagen na na-drive natin, ang control na kanyang light ay nandito. Ayan, park light. Turn on. Lights on, tapos yung hatake mo siya para sa yan, rear fog. So, there you go. Yan, kung makikita ninyo guys, yan yung ating uh, display area. Kapakita ko sa inyo kung nasaan yung high beam indicator na naiinis ako bakit yan nilagyan ng Volkswagen. Yan, nakikita nyo ba? Nandun, no? Yan. So, pag tumatakbo ka, 
ng uh, 2,000 RPM which is the normal RPM pag tumatakbo ka, makatakpan mo yan hindi mo makikita I think it could have been placed somewhere else okay, so straightforward yung kanyang mga controls no? yung temperature yung uh, fan speed at yung kanyang uh, air direction right there so meron siyang feature na kapag naka stop yung car kusang naga idle yung makina so ito yun you can turn that off kasi pag uh, nag-aapak ka ng accelerator bigla biglang mag start yung makina so pag hindi ka sana magugulat ka so you can turn that off pag naka yellow that's off actually alright so ito lang steering wheel is divided into regions the left and the right so the left is actually the cruise control alright and the volume of uh, the car so etong etong button na to guys has no function other than it will tell you that the button has no function kit di ba ilagay nila tapos pag pinindot mo button without function may function nga to say na walang function eh di ba <laughs> and this one menu of of your uh, display right Overall, I like the car, I like how it feels, I like how it drives. Um, this is not a race car, right? Hindi siya built or made para pang karera. This is actually made for you to just from home, pumunta ko pisina, going back home nang, naka, nang relax ka lang, nang hindi ka na stress right? So with that, nakain muna tayo dahil nandun si daughter, kumakain sila. So... T-Cross, am I gonna buy this? Ah, uh, for the purpose that it will, it will offer you uh, going home to work, work to home, uh, might be. It could be actually a very good option. Sige, kapi muna tayo. And we're just about ready to go home now. And, uh, uh, yeah, what is tayo ngayon? So this unit doesn't come along with a reverse camera, kaya mano mano. Well, in the older days, naman mano mano naman talaga lahat. Nagluho na lang tayo lately, and of course it's for safety. But this variant, S variant, doesn't come along with a reverse camera. But I think pwede mo lagyan kasi masadong malaki yung screen niya. All right, guys. Well, again, thank you very much for watching this vlog. Maraming salamat. Thank you for um, watching my car reviews. So, I think I am not a car mechanic. I'm just merely a car enthusiast who likes to review cars. Cars. So, shout out to Volkswagen Philippines, Mrs. Stacy, and your team. Maraming salamat for allowing me to, to review this um, Volkswagen T-Cross right abangan nyo in the coming days there will be more uh, car reviews uploaded on my channel dahil pero dahil hindi na ganun kadalas umulan so other than car reviews magkakaroon tayo ng or mabalik na tayo sa motorcycle reviews and of course mas daily vlogs na rin so yun lang guys maraming salamat sa inyong panonood ng vlog na to please like, subscribe and share and please subscribe to my daughter's YouTube channel Wala ka ba? Meron. Meron po siya. Ano channel mo? Chloe. Chloe Noreen? Hey. Chloe. Chloe Jemperly. Chloe Jemperly. Subscribe naman kayo guys. Walang laman yung channel niya. Meron. Meron naman dalawang video. <laughs> Subscribe. Ayan. And shout out to, ayan, to my brother at si Maro nandun sa likod. Ayan. So you guys, stay safe. Stay protected. Stay healthy everyone. Keep safe. Yeah, tama. My name is Papa Jackson, and this has been a drive impression of the Volkswagen T-Cross. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye.